This is our walking backboard. Every day we write a code of the day. Today the code is to speak things into existence. In our kitchen, here we go. We have our cook, Miss Vera. Who's that? This is Miss Vera. Hi, this is our. This is the best cook in the world. I swear, y'all. This is the be <laughs> most beautiful lady in the world. She has a warm heart. She makes me feel at home every time. Right here, we have our kitchen. Everything new. We have snack every day, and today our snack is cake with ice, with vanilla ice. ice. Oh, yeah, lemon ice. Well, today we're having barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, string beans, and bread and milk. Every day we get a green vegetable, we get a milk and a fruit with our lunch. Every day. Mandatory. With dinner. Kids must eat good. We cook with no salt, no sugar, no added preservative. Everything natural. Okay. Oh, Everything man. homemade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we back in here. We had to stop back here again. And this, this is our eating area. And this is all the magic, where all the magic happened at for culinary arts. This is the main room where all the magic happened. Culinary arts, we, we made, let's give you some things we made. We made cakes from scratch. We made a pound cake top with strawberry, ice cream, and blueberries from scratch. And y'all will be seeing further pictures of this. And we made steak, chicken. We made uh, lasagna, spaghetti. We made a whole bunch. We got about like 15, 16 recipes in the cookbook upstairs that I will show y'all later on. On here today. As you see up here, this is our chill area. As y'all see is lounge. We come in here. We have our, our seating area. This is where we do all our heavy discussion at to children about life. Life opportunities, when you get an opportunity, don't let it pass you by. We're talking about education, we preach education. You must, you must, must go to school. You, you must have a, a good base, a strong education background. And we talk about this about a little life. I, to me personally, I talk about a lot about life. Because I feel like though, you can't go that far in education or something like that if you don't have your life experience. That's me personally, but some people may disagree. But I feel like though, if you have a good life experience, you know, good, strong people in your life, you make it far. This is one of my favorite parts. This is our, our star, success, our hero, our future, as we are. You see, as we plan our future, discovering who we are, as we plan our future. These are all our children right here. Okay, let me, let me point two things out. We are missing two children on the board right here. I would like to name her name is Latasha Williams. We are missing, oh, no, 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 they They brought her back up here. Here she goes, Latasha Williams. She's back up here, and we mean missing Kenitra. Kenitra is not up here. That's the only person we missing. But everybody else that's ever here, that ever come to the program, we saying we love all our children. I, I feel like I have 45 kids here. They're all my personal children. And we have some of the most talented children in the world that you may see. They sing, dance, write, poem, everything. They, amazing. Right here, it's our honor stars. This is what I started. This is what people to me, high grades, high attendance, Perfect attendance. We got a person named Sky Campbell to go here. She had perfect attendance for uh, the whole year uh, last year. Perfect attendance. That's amazing. Amazing. They had perfect attendance. 180 days of school. She had it. And we got uh, Tashera. Tashera made honor roll. We have a poor card. It says Tashera Kennedy, honor roll. Two B's and two A's. Two B's, two A's. Is, um... Tashira Murphy, here she go again, Tashira Murphy, on the roll. This girl, Tashira Murphy, right, all she do is read, count, she in math contests, and all she do is just go to school every day and get perfect grades. That's not, that's not easy. You know, that's no thing normal children should do. This is right here, this is our super community. This is our last semester PBL, our super community, like our heroes and where everybody looked at their hero. Okay, let me tell you one thing that stood out right here on this wall. It's my name, Sinead Business, that go here, and her mom had passed away. And she did hers on her, on her dad and how her dad made a uh, lasting impact. For all y'all, y'all fathers, y'all don't know how important y'all are to y'all children's life until I see a child named Shanae Bivens when her mom actually gone and that's all she was, had was her father and she turned out to be a wonderful girl. Father, we need more father like Mr. Kyle Bivens. Mr. Kyle Bivens is an excellent man and I would like to give him shout outs to the camera, to everybody, give a clap for Mr. Kyle Bivens. Thank you, Mr. Kyle Bivens, for giving us Shanae Bivens. Okay. Up the steps we go.
Man, yeah, you know it's one of these Philadelphia without a mural in our building. So you know we had to have a mural in our building right here. And this this particularly stands out to me because I want you to guess. What do you think this is a building of? What do you think this painting of? Broad Street. If you look directly out this window, oh, you can't see it because this building right here. But this is the hospital, and it's the whole Broad Street surrounding our area. We're, uh, we don't want no picture of England and all the nice pyramids and all that nice stuff everywhere in Africa, everywhere. It's beautiful stuff to look at. But when you see your own community, we paint our own community dresses up, that's beautiful to me. Here we go. Here where it all takes place at. I call this is the creation room. This room is owned by Miss JJ and then Giselle Johnson. And she is the creator. She made all the signs for the lounge, for the dead, the murals, the paintings. Miss JJ, Mr. Sel Johnson's father himself, sketched this picture with his bare hands and made copies for it to hang up all over the world, all over our room. And that's what we do. This whole art room, all these murals and paintings, it was painted by children, previous children that attended Club Den. Before me, Mr. Sel, and Tyrese Dandy. We're writing them, but these all these are beautiful murals. I, I love them right here. We got the love peace sign. The office. Here we go. The director. Miss Taisha Dandy. This is where we all meet up every day. Remember myself, Pashan Savoy, Miss JJ. I give a shout out to our former employee, Miss Danika. I love her when she was back. Um, Tierra. We all meet up here, and this is where all the magic happened between. The uh, program assistance and the director. So everything, another thing we do here every day, every birthday for a child, we throw a little gathering. We make every child, we want, we want every child to feel special, especially on their day. So every day here, every time somebody's birthday come, we throw a party, we make a cake from scratch. Everything from scratch, we make a cake. We throw a little party, make sure, make sure they feel like a part of them, make sure they feel home. If, they don't, if they're not home at home, they always know they can come here and be home. Moving on. And this is the coolest room for all y'all musicians. Look at the technology here. How many, how many places you can go and see these computers? These is Apple iMac. That's what they call it, the Apple iMac. They are computer. They have all of the highest tech computers. We got this program on here called Rock Band and um, Rockstar. You can make any beat or sample any beat from anywhere. Any beat ever created, any beat ever you think about creating, any thing beat you ever heard, you say, oh, I want to steal a little part of that and put it in this beat. You can come up with their own song. When they come up with their own song, we can put it on CD, give it to them, write your name on it, and pass it to them. And they can take it home to their parents. They can let their parents hear it, their friends, everything like, where you do this at? Club Den. That's right. That's what we did. Club Den. But let me tell you, let me tell you one thing about myself. My name is Washan Savoy. I've been working with children since I was 11 years old. And I have a passion about children that I would, I would, it would never leave me. I, I feel like I'm a child at heart. That's why I work here. It never been about no pay. I come here for free. I would work here for free if I had to to touch the children here. I am from this neighborhood. I was born and raised 17th of Bavaria Street till I was 12, 13 years old. Then I moved across town to 8th Diamond. I've always lived in North Philly, born and raised. I went to public school. Trent, I went to public school education. I went to college and Cheney University. And I have a degree in um, recreation legion management. But at first, I majored in criminal justice, social relations. But I figured that I wasn't going to touch too many children's lives being a lawyer, even though I could help the criminals get out of jail. But that wasn't, that wasn't my aim. My aim was not to let these criminals become up. Because they say we got this bad reputation about North Philly kids. Once from, from North Philly, you always going to be bad or doing bad. So I just want to chill people. I'm from North Philadelphia. I work with children. I went to college. No record of history or nothing. So that's my story. Thank you very much.